Let's bring in Rangu Jalgame. He's back with us, Chairman and CEO at Princeton Digital Group, joining us live from elsewhere in Singapore. Rangu, good to see you again and hope you're keeping safe where uh, you are. Congratulations on this uh, latest uh, project. Uh, this would bring uh, the number of data centers in Indonesia to six now. But I have to ask you, uh, you know, this is a greenfield project, so you're starting from scratch, uh, digging the ground up, piling, etc. With the country, or rather the government, starting to ease up on coronavirus restrictions now, just one month after one of the ex most explosive surges in virus cases in the world, are you on track in terms of construction or are there likely to be delays, do you think? Uh, good morning, Martin, and thanks for having me back. And good morning, Sri, as well. Uh, the Indonesia is at a at a cusp of uh, massive cloud adoption, Martin. And with that, uh, we have been working for the last year and a half uh, to expand our footprint in Indonesia. And this particular new project we just announced um, during the pandemic, fortunately, we have been able to work do a lot of groundwork online in the sense design and putting all the contracts in place with the contractors. And fortunately, the local government has been very collaborative to help us uh, bring in labor into the site under, of course, COVID restrictions, making sure we do it in the right way. And with that uh, support that we have, been, we have been able to get, we are very much on track. We have broken ground there. And over the next few months, we expect uh, a very speedy construction. Uh, so we are much, very much look forward to launching this site to our customers mid next year. And the Indonesia market is at the right time to do, get the kind of capacity in the Jakarta market, Martin. Rangu, what sort of uh, return on investment are you expecting then uh, from this asset to deliver? Yeah, typically our investment uh, thesis behind any uh, acquisitions or investments of new projects, Jay, actually it's, it's about uh, 15 to 20 percent is what we expect uh, minimum return. But typically we try to gain, uh, aim for much higher returns, and that is driven by making kind of right choices of the location. Uh, that comes from our uh, relationship with our customers that help us to pick locations that are much more attractive to customers when it is launched. So we minimize a lot of execution risk, Shree, and that gives us an opportunity to get a much higher return than typically what the industry is able to deliver. And that's one of the strengths that PDG has been able to develop, where picking the right sides, getting the construction with our, our very standard design, whether it's in Shanghai or Tokyo or Mumbai or Jakarta, our design is very consistent. And that gives an ability to manage the supply chain more effectively, get uh, you know get cost down, as well as get the design to what the customers would want. So all those factors help us to increase and get a much better return than typically the industry does. And that's what investors like to see in a market like Asia, which is growing over 25 percent year over year. All right, so about 11 percent ROI. Understood. So uh, the energy capital where this new center is, uh, Jakarta is uh, thriving, bustling, and famous for a lot of things, including uh, traffic, but also including blackouts. So let me ask you, data centers mm -hmm. are extremely power hungry. They suck power. Are you connected mm -hmm. to a notoriously unreliable grid? Are you self-sufficient? And also, uh, is this new project going to be uh, a green? Yeah, uh, uh, a little bit of everything, uh, Martin. I, we, uh, within Jakarta, there are certain parts of the location where we are. Uh, it's called the Chibutung area. There, the quality of power is very good, and the upstream power capacity is very high. So we have worked with the local utility to make sure we get the power, which we have. So that puts us in a very strong position to have the power for this data center locked in. Secondly, uh, there's very good fiber connectivity in the Jakarta area. So that makes the data center very attractive in the location that we have chosen to be in. Thirdly, in terms of green, we are the first company in uh, Jakarta to get a renewable energy credit, uh, Martin. That puts us very strong in terms of being able to acquire green power in the Jakarta market ahead than any other industry, any other enterprise in that region. So we are uh, definitely acquired green power for this data center, which again positions us very well when customers are looking for operators in this region who are really progressive when it comes to ESG and managing issues around power and green. So we are very well positioned for this project to have addressed the green aspect as well as getting good power. Rangu, so all in all, is this a stronger bet, uh, as you could imagine, on uh, the e-commerce demand in uh, Indonesia, untapped demand and pent-up demand? 
Uh, yes, near term and long term, Sri. If you look at it, it's a country of uh, nearly 300 million population, very early stages of mobile adoption still. Uh, but at the same time, a country which is uh, leapfrogged when it's e-commerce usage, whether it's uh, for ride sharing, whether it's for food delivery, all the other aspects of the e-commerce, the government is significantly making investment for digitalization of the government uh, institutions and organizations and public service. The enterprises in Indonesia are very um, active in adopting IT and cloud uh, services. Putting all this together, if you see over the next five years, we see a dramatic increase in cloud adoption, which in turn helps our industry, which is provide the data center capacity to the cloud companies. So it's a very attractive in terms of the market conditions and the scale and the size of the market that's emerging in Indonesia. Now, if you look at our customers, Shri, um, our customers are the large global cloud companies. And, and for them in Asia, what a PDG has been able to do is to provide solutions across multiple countries and the countries that matter to them and uh, so if you, are a, if you are a large company like a Microsoft or an Alibaba who's going to Indonesia, you want, first you enter, you want a little bit of capacity, which we had already in our existing facility, but they also want to know that yes. who can provide them a capacity for next year and who can yes. give them capacity two years from now. And PDG got very well positioned because we have a very good roadmap for growth. And that's where customers are trusting PDG in Indonesia, like they have been able yes. to do in other markets in Asia to work with PDG. And that comes down to being able to invest at the right place at the right time. And you can offer them that uh, visibility, which is uh, essential. Rangu, we've got to wrap it up there. So thank you very much indeed for uh, sharing, us, uh, sharing with us the latest developments of your investment in uh, Indonesia.